So with the All Blacks kind of having picked a B team, uh, not quite a B team, but an A minus team to play the uh, the Pumas the other day, it was a much changed lineup. I thought, just how far does this All Blacks depth go? What would an All Blacks like C or even D team look like? So I've had a go. I've picked a team. None of these players are in the All Blacks squad. Anybody who's been called up for the All Blacks for this uh, rugby championship, I have ruled them out. Anybody who's in Japan right now, so I'm looking at guys like Matt Todd, Tom Franklin, uh, you know, Elliot Dixon, Israel Dagg, ruled out. Anyone who's injured right now, like Jeff Tumanga Allen, uh, is ruled out. Now, by the time this video goes up, some of these injury situations may have changed because there's probably going to be a bit of a, a delay between the time I record and the time I upload. But um, as of right now, I think this is mostly correct. Um, but like I say, nobody who's heading abroad, so no Tamani Valu, nobody who's in Japan, nobody who's with the All Blacks, nobody who's injured. So you're going to look at some of these names and say, that guy's never going to make the All Blacks. But you look at a story like Carl Tuino Kuafe, and you say, man, the All Blacks can kind of, you know, find that diamond in the rough. So, yes, uh, kind of bear with me with some of these picks. The whole point is they are not first choice picks by any means. But, I mean, still, some of them I'm very, very happy with. So, yeah, I'll go through these. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on the picks and who else uh, could have made it. And, um, yeah, I'm going to read them out in an order, kind of in the order that I wrote them down, rather than just going from number one through to um, number 15. I'm going to read them in pretty much the order I wrote them down. It's not an exact science, but it's just kind of the order they came to my head, uh, which may give a bit of an indication on where I think the depth is at. So I'm starting with the blindside flanker. I'm going with Vaya Fafita. He is a dynamic ball runner. He's played with the All Blacks before, 26 years old, can cover the second row if needs be. He's pretty unlucky not to be with the All Blacks as it is. He's my first choice. Uh, second choice, I'm going with the halfback. I'm going with number nine, Brad Weber, playing really well for Hawks Bay. Had a very good season for for the Chiefs and was able to put Tutoroa to Tuhuriarangi out of a job pretty much at the Chiefs as the starting number nine. So even though Triple T gets the first choice for the ABs, Weber was the man at the Chiefs. So I'm giving him that number nine jersey in this All Blacks team. Uh, number three, I've gone with the left wing. I'm putting George Bridge from the Crusaders. The guy has been one of the top try scorers of the comp for Super Rugby just gone. He's only 23. He just looks electric. He can play other spots, but I think left wing is where we've seen the most of him. So I'm putting him there. No qualms about putting him there whatsoever. Uh, number four, I'm going to the second row. I'm going with uh, Big Luke Romano. He's Mr. Experience. He's 32. He's been there and done that. He's kind of down the picking order below the likes of, um, of Scott Barrett at the moment. But... Uh, yeah, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna disgrace an all black uniform. He's a hard man, and he brings some experience to what in patches is a pretty uh, kind of use youthful looking squad over here. Uh, number five, who have I picked at number five? Ah, yes, my number eight. This is perhaps a bit of blues bias coming in here. I've gone with Akira Yuani at uh, at number eight. He's 23 years old. He is the tackle busting king. So he's not got an all-round game, I admit that, but he's going to get the ball going forward uh, at a rate of knots, and he's he's been looking pretty good for Auckland. So uh, yeah, Akira Yuani, uh, he is in my team as the number eight. Uh, next, I would probably have to go with Mahuka. Now, Hooker is one area where I think there's a whole lot of depth, but I'm going to put in Ricky Riccatelli. I know some people don't rate him. Uh, either because he's too small or too slow or um, just not having like I mean you look at some of these hookers around the world like Dan Coles has just got gas and finds the right spot at the right time Malcolm Marks is the king of the turnover uh, there are, there's always something but Ricky Riccatelli is just kind of a solid all-round player but he played more minutes than any other hooker in Super Rugby this season just gone so I, I don't see him disgracing an All Blacks uniform even if it is as the how many choice kind of C team D team choice but still uh, he's 23 for a hooker really young I'm putting Riccatelli in there uh, number seven and eight I'm going with my midfield I'm going with Rob Thompson at 13 and I'm putting his Highlanders buddy uh, Tay Walden at 12 I've kind of put them together there 
because of that combo they've got at the Highlander. So you don't have to retrain something. Like, kind of the thoughts of the squad is, like, imagine the whole All Black squad gets, like, terrible food poisoning and they just can't play. They're absolutely stricken. you got to call up a team to quickly play. At least those guys have got a bit of combination experience uh, there at kind of 12 and 13. Not to forget about Matt Proctor. I would put him on my bench. I mean, you could put him in a starting as well, but I just kept Tay Walden and, and Thompson for their, their work at the Highlanders. But Proctor is also, uh, you know, kind of a very, very good player. Uh, right wing, I'm going with the try-scoring machine, Ben Lamb. He kind of seemed to peter off a bit at the end of that Super Rugby season, but he's really been in good form for Wellington in, in the Mitre 10 Cup. So uh, no problems there. I mean, there were calls for him to get a, a test spot in June, but he was not considered really by the selectors. So, um, yeah, I'm putting him in there. I don't think he would disgrace an All Blacks jersey like uh, like some of the other guys. Uh, next, open side flanker. Now, there's a bit of a question mark about him at the minute because uh, he's had issues with concussion in a recent Mitre 10 Cup match, but I'm still going to put in Dylan Hunt, provided he's fit. Uh, you know, he's 23. He's been in that All Blacks environment before. I think he was one of the guys who played against the French Barbarians uh, at the end of year tour last year. Um... I mean, you're getting down in the pecking order here when you're looking at Sam Kane, Adi Savia, Matt Todd who's in Japan, and then where are you at with um, open side flanker? I'm going with Hunt, but uh, there are other guys who could fill that spot. Uh, number 12 on my list, I think I'm up to number 12, I'm putting fullback Solomon Alamalo from the Chiefs. He has just been an, a magic attacking weapon. Uh, I think he looks better at fullback than on the wing. And, um, yeah, he's only 22, so he'd have to step up. And it's a pretty inexperienced backline with Lamb, Bridge, and Alamalo. But Lamb's not, not a spring chicken. Uh, so hopefully if they got some ball, they'd be able to wreak some havoc. But, I mean, that that back three, Bridge, Alamalo, and Lamb, that seems pretty deadly to me. Walden and, and Thompson in that midfield, very solid. Uh, next, where have I gone? Who else did I put? Oh, kind of reserve uh, hooker. I know I haven't finished the starting 15 spots, but uh, I wanted to get Asafo Amua in there. He's been in and around the All Black setup as well. Uh, didn't really play much in Super Rugby this year due to injury, but um, yeah, he's been busting it up in Mitre 10 Cup. So I kind of wanted him there. Like I said, Hooker's the one spot where there's so much depth. I mean, you got Makaleo, you got James Parsons. There's plenty of hookers. Uh, so I don't think that's an issue. There are some other areas where it perhaps gets a little bit thin. Uh, number 10, the crucial number 10 jersey. I mean, when you look at those main three guys, um, Bowden Barrett, D-Mac, and um, Richie Moonga, those guys are all, like, people have differing opinions. I mean, perhaps Bodie at the moment, but all these guys could play 10 for the All Blacks. But then there's kind of a drop. Who's the next best number 10? I've gone with Mitch Hunt from the Crusaders. He filled in for Richie when Richie was injured and, and didn't, like, the Crusaders didn't really miss a beat. So I'm putting him in there. He's only 23. He's Mr. Cool. He's got a, a pretty cool hit on him. So, uh, I mean, he's not Bowden Barrett, but I'm I'm still putting him there to do a job. I think he's going to be Mr. Consistent. And with Weber inside him, who's got a lot more experience, uh, I think that would help. Uh, we're getting to kind of the tail end of my team now. Uh, other second row, I've gone with Quinton Strange. It was harder. I mean, I had I had this list drafted up and I had Tupolotu, but then uh, Retallick got injured, so I've had to... Tupolotu's been called up to the All Blacks, so no Tupolotu. So I've gone with Quinton Strange. He's 22, he's 2 metres tall. Again, he's in that Crusaders team with Romano, with Whitelock, with Scott Barrett, and he's still got some game time, so... I think he's got one. He's one that's got potential for the future, so uh, I'll give him a spot here. Uh, props... And perhaps this, I mean, the New Zealand propping stocks at the moment are kind of affected pretty badly by injury, by the fact that, you know, Angus Tavau and Carl Tunukuafe have been called up. Like, if you'd said that at the start of the year, you'd have been laughed off, you know. But Dan Leonard Brown at Loosehead, number one. He played a lot of games for, for the Highlanders this year. He is uh, 25 years old. He plays for Canterbury. Um, yep, and Michael Ala Alatoa. Uh, if he's willing to accept a New Zealand call-up, I'm pretty sure he's eligible by this point. He was supposed to be eligible by the midpoint of this year, and it's already September. So uh, I'll put Michael Alonatoa there at the tight head side. Uh, he's 27 if he commits to New Zealand. Um, yeah, he can do a job there uh, for the All Blacks. So I think that's pretty much the starting 15. There's still a few guys on the bench to mention. 
Uh, David Havili is kind of my reserve utility back. He can cover wing. He can cover uh, fullback. He's he's been in and around that environment before. I mean, you could even have him in ahead of Alamalo, but I wanted that kind of uh, bit of extra dynamism. Uh, Bryn Hall, reserve halfback. Again, halfback's another spot where you think, man, there's there's no trouble. You know, you got TJ and, and uh, Aaron Smith plus Triple T in there who looked good in his first All Blacks appearance. And then, yeah, Brad Weber, former All Black. Bryn Hall is going to be fine. You can have Mitch Drummond. There's, there's plenty of number nines. I said Reed Princep for my loose forward cover. Uh, lock cover is starting to get pretty thin. I've gone with uh, Kauli Tuyoti from, from the Blues. Uh, yeah, we're getting towards the bottom of the barrel, but uh, he, he played all right for the Blues. Yep. Uh, props. Chris Eaves and uh, Tui Loma. I don't know if Tui Loma would be able to go uh, that many minutes at international level. So I would hope um, Ala Alatoa has a bit of gas in the tank. But he's a big boy. And um, he's kind of been talked about before as perhaps having big things in his future. So we will see how he goes. So yes, I think that's the whole team. Leonard Brown, Riccatelli, Ala Alatoa, front row. Perhaps a bit of a weakness. Romano and Strange, that Crusaders second pairing in the second row. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Back row of Fafita, Akira, Iwane, and uh, Dylan Hunt. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Uh, nine, Weber, very satisfied. Hunt, okay, we'll see how he goes at number 10. Walden and Thompson, solid. See how they go at international level. Bridge, Alamalo, and Lamb, very good. Uh, the bench, Almoa, Eves, and Tuiloma. There's a bit of size there, if nothing else. Kali Tuyoti, uh, yep. Princep, solid man, very solid. La Luz Ford, he's got, he's got some, um, some bulk to him as well. Hall, Proctor, and Havili, very happy with those three picks as well. Um, wait, did I not pick a reserve number 10? It occurs to me at the end of this video that I didn't pick a reserve number 10. You could perhaps get Bryn Gatland in there somewhere, but then you are getting, um, yeah. Anyway, that's the team. <laughs> you guys let me know how you think it would go. Uh, as I said, it's, um, it's to see how deep that barrel goes in New Zealand rugby. But uh, yeah, there's um, spots where I think we're blessed with dip and other parts where I think we are good at the minute but if we had too many injuries it might look a bit hairy but you guys let me know your thoughts and i'll talk to you again soon find me a good double 10 combination i'll see you guys later